Good morning, everyone. My name is Amy Palat, and I am a nurse practitioner uh, focusing on the care of uh, cancer survivors and uh, breast care, where I work at Brown Surgical Associates and also at the Women's Medicine Collaborative of Lifespan. Um, Gloria Gemma, our wonderful resource for breast cancer patients, asked me to, to uh, make a video to discuss some of the crazy changes that are going on in our lives every day as a community with the COVID-19 crisis. So before I start, I just wanted to make sure that you know that anything that we say over the next few minutes together doesn't replace medical advice from your physician and your provider team. So any questions about your individual care, please do reach out to your team so that they can help you with your, with your individual needs. Now that said, I wanted to let you know that our offices in um, for Brown Surgical Associates and the Women's Medicine Collaborative are open and are seeing patients. There may be some limitations. We may be advising some people to reschedule, um, but I would encourage if you have an appointment to reach out to your team to talk about what's best for you. We are doing what's called telehealth visits now, so we are able to do confidential video calls with patients who don't need to be seen urgently, and we will have dedicated time to um, talk to a patient about how they're doing, any questions that they have through this telehealth visit. So I would encourage you, if you're interested in that and you happen to have a routine appointment or have any concerns, to please call your provider through, um, through Brown or Lifespan to see if this is an option for you. And, and we're happy to do those during these trying times where we're really recommending that people who can stay at home do stay at home. I wanted to take a few minutes to talk about um, different things like scheduling. So for example, for routine visits like screening mammograms, so say you're somebody who has your routine annual mammogram coming up in the next couple of weeks, that may be rescheduled. So as of right now, the what we know from our major imaging centers that we work with a lot, like the Ann Pappas Center for Breast Imaging, Rhode Island Medical Imaging, they are not doing routine screening mammography and this will be rescheduled, but they are still doing what we call diagnostic imaging. So if we're working up a problem, um, if somebody presents with a new breast lump or something like that, we do wanna hear from you and we do wanna help you. So, so please reach out to us in that case, but know that if you're doing great and you're say three years out, um, um, you know, from from your cancer, your doctor may recommend that your appointment be rescheduled. But go ahead and reach out to your to your team. I wanted to take a minute to talk about the emotional toll that we might all be experiencing these days with the uh, rapid change of information, these really scary times that we're in, um, and this may bring some um, challenges back for people who have had a cancer experience. So I'd like to touch base about that and and review the importance of your self-care during this time. Um, you know, there are silver linings with, with things and um, you know, even though we're all recommended to be home as much as possible and to do the social distancing protocols, um, we are in a time where we have great technology so we can still, in some ways, connect with people if we're feeling more anxious or if we're feeling down through some people have access to FaceTime or Zoom. Um, also things like getting outside and going for walks with your family members um, can be very, very helpful. There are so many resources now that are being provided for free through the community, like um, online yoga classes. There are apps for meditation like Calm or Headstrong. And so many people are coming forward to offer these um, types of resources free for people during this, um, this, this crazy time. Even local gyms, your gym or um, you know another gym in your community, or even if it's not in your community, you can go on YouTube and, um, and have access to great exercise classes where, in a time where we can't get to the gym, for example. So if you're somebody like me who really values group exercise, I have been able to man maintain some of that through doing a Zoom video through a group of women that I, that I really rely on to, um, to keep us um, moving and um, and keep those relationships going and, and exercising. Um, one thing you might notice is that uh, you might find your sleep is a little bit disrupted during this time. Um, I've personally found that the news can really raise the anxiety level for a lot of people, including myself. So I have found that not watching the news before bedtime and really even after I get home from work is more helpful for, for sleep. Um, not scrolling through your phone and technology in the hour or two before trying to, to relax and go to sleep can be can be helpful. Um, please be mindful of your nutrition. 
Um, the candy jar has been staring at me more uh, lately than, than it has in the past. And, you know, we all can have, um, you know, this stressful eating time. So really trying to focus on your nutrition, continue on your plant-based diets, avoiding um, excessive alcohol use. So really minimizing alcohol during this time um, and, and all the time as well can, can really be helpful. Um, just know please that we are here for you. Every day is a new day for us like it is for you. And if there's any concerns that you have, please do not hesitate to reach out to our office or your providers. And we are all in this together. Thank you.